We're going to start our discussion talking about the OSI model, starting with layer 7, which is the application layer. So we're starting at the very top layer, at the host layers, and we're going to work our way down, all the way down to the physical layer, which is the very bottom layer where the data is going to be moving across the network. So why are we starting at the top? Well, we're starting at the top because this is where you, as a user, you use computer programs and applications to communicate with the network. And that's why we call it the application layer, because this is where you are interacting with applications, and then these application programs are going to interface with the network. And so we have application programs such as the Internet Explorer or Outlook, and these programs are going to interact with application layer protocols. So for example, Internet Explorer needs to interact with specific protocols to access the Internet, and that specific protocol is HTTP or HTTPS. Outlook is the same thing. It's going to use email protocols such as POP3 or IMAP to interact with the network to allow you to send and receive emails. So one thing that's important to note with this layer is that the applications themselves don't reside in this actual layer, but instead they interface with application layer protocols. So it's the actual application layer protocols that reside in this layer 7 up here. And I'll go ahead and circle one. So for example, HTTP is one of them. Another one that I said was IMAP, and another one that I said was POP3. Those are both for email. So just to recap, remember, when we are talking about layer 7, the application layer, the very top layer, this is where you and applications on your program are going to be interacting with application layer protocols that interface with the network. So for example, Internet Explorer is going to interface with the protocol HTTP to get out to the Internet. Outlook, the application, is going to be interacting with an application layer protocol, IMAP, to get out to a network to receive and send emails. It is not the actual application that's in this layer, but instead, again, it is these application layer protocols that's in here. So that's what layer 7 is, and so that's the very top layer, the OSI model, where we're talking about how applications interact with the network. And you'll notice over here it says network processes to applications. So again, network processes or network protocols interacting with an application, allowing this application to communicate with the network. That is the very top layer of the OSI conceptual model. So in the next lecture, we're going to talk about layer 6, the presentation layer.